So I take the subway. I take it very frequently. Um, the best thing about taking the subway is that although the driver may in fact be a lunatic, you can't see him. You can't see the driver on the train. That to me is the best thing because as you know, in a cab you can see the driver. You know he's insane. You know, in many of these cars you can see the driver. So the fact of not knowing for a fact that the driver is a lunatic is very relaxing to me. Also, it is the fastest way to get around New York. When I say New York, I mean Manhattan, okay? I'm not young enough to have to mean Brooklyn. Well, I have personally never used Uber because I don't have an iPhone. Um, of course, I've often been in Uber cars because luckily everyone else has an iPhone. You know, I feel about these devices the way I used to feel about watches when I was young. When I was young, I would think, why would anyone waste money on a wristwatch? There's clocks everywhere. Or you could always ask someone the time. You know, it seemed to me like an incredible extravagance for no reason. Um, and I feel that way about the iPhone or Uber because there's always someone that you're with, they get Uber. Um, well, first of all, when we did it, I was 16 when we did this. Uh, and my sister was 12. Um, and this was a trip. My father never took, had more than a week's vacation. So this was the year that he took a month's vacation. Um, and they went to the AAA, which still exists, and got this thing called a triptych, which I'm certain, I'm not certain, but probably doesn't exist anymore. But it was this big, like, um, kind of spiral thing of maps, which was my mother's job to read the map. Because when I was a child, if a man was in a car, he drove. I mean, it was out of the question. When I was a child, if I saw a, a man and a woman in a car and the woman was driving, it was unbelievably jarring to my sense of the world. Um, that's how specific gender roles were uh, when I was child. It would be as if instead of my father, my mother went and fought World War II. Um, so my father drove um, and my sister and I sat in the back seat fighting quite a bit. Um, I did write my grandmother a letter every single day, you know, describing the trip. I was very excited to go on the trip because I never went anywhere. Um, and so I was really excited to go on the trip. I still remember things about this trip and believe me, I am long past 16. Um, we stayed in Motel 6s, which used to be called, not all Motel 6s, but Motel 6s were originally called Motel 6s because they were $6 a night. People didn't travel as much as they do now, in general. You know, people, there were many people I grew up with. I grew up in Marstown, New Jersey, a small town. Um, there were many people I went to school with that had never been to New York. It's 40 miles away. I asked to go on the southern route because I thought the south would be incredibly exotic, which it was. I mean, and still, even though this was right after the Civil Rights Act, there were still many places that had signs on water fountains, signs on bathrooms. Um, and to me, I was, to me, this always felt like the American version of the Nazis. So even though I was personally in no danger in these southern states, um, I felt a sense of danger. Um, and there were signs on restaurants saying, we reserve the right to refuse service to anyone. That was on almost every restaurant, you know, that we went to, which were, you know, like, kind of roadside kind of restaurants, you know, but it, everything's the same now. I mean, things were like, I had never heard of grits. I had never heard of, you know, and that was common. There were people on these coasts who had never heard of this food, you know, but now people know all this stuff. Even, even culturally deprived people know this stuff. And also this stuff is everywhere. Now, you know, a 16 year old from Marstown, New Jersey would have to go to Thailand to find things as exotic. And they would probably already know, well, there's probably five Thai restaurants in Marstown. So, um, I think I profited um, by not knowing anything.